Hey, it's Tracy from KISS and I'm here with a product review. As you guys know, a couple of months ago, I, well, not, well has it been a couple of months? I guess it has. I did a hair haul and I bought about four or five new products that I never used. And I've been trying to get those into, for re, you know, into rotation for a review. Now, I took a break after that. Yes, I am experienced because that didn't go very well. But anyways, the product that I'm doing a review on today is the Soft Sheen Carson Roots of Nature Remedies. And it's mango oil and, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this, butter. Kapua, I think it's how it's pronounced. I think it's pronounced Kapua is the proper way to pronounce it. And it looks like that. Now, I bought this. I know you guys know I have been sent products from Soft Sheen Carson before, but I actually bought this at a beauty supply store. Let me first say that for those of you guys that like more natural products, this is pretty good. It has, let's see, it has no drying alcohol, no mineral oil, no parabens or petroleum oil. So that is a super, super good thing. I will also say because this is a like whipped lotion type product, if you do have thinner hair, you will have to be very light handed or this may not necessarily be for you. It says to apply wet. And it also says if you want your curls or waves to be more defined to go under heat. Now, I when I use this, I did not use heat because that defeats the whole purpose. The whole reason why I do braid outs, twist outs, etc., is not to use heat. I washed my hair Saturday. I put my normal leave-in in, which is um, the Aussie leave-in. I put that in my hair and then a little bit of coconut oil and dried my hair, probably to about 80% dry. Then I applied this to about four sections and coconut oil, just a little bit. And I did two braids. Now, as you guys can see, my braid out is a lot more defined. I don't know if you can tell. Let me get in closer. But it is very, very, the waves in it are very defined. It actually looks like I did four or five braids instead of two. When my hair finished drying that Saturday for that evening, I ended up having to put some more coconut oil on it because it didn't have that shine. And then, so when I redid my braid out last night, I, you know, I put, I didn't re-wet my hair, I don't do that. I just did the two braids again. I put a little bit of this on each section to see if it would weigh down my hair. And then I put the coconut oil. So this morning I got more of the shine that I wanted. So if you do purchase this, you do want to um, seal it with an oil to give you more of a shine things that I noticed different about my braid out with this is yes it was defined but it's not I don't know if you can tell it's not my bouncy braid out it's got a little more weight to it so and it has more of a oily not oily but more of a I can't describe it it has more of a it, ha it looks like I have product in my hair like but it's not bad. Um, don't get me wrong. I like it. I'm just trying to describe it to you. But as you can see, it doesn't have the that body body I have. But that's not always a bad thing, you know. So I do overall like it. What I didn't like is this smell. It has like a old lady smell to it. Like, I kid you not. Ugh got on my lip I hate the smell and then you guys know what coconut oil already smells like so the combination of the two I just be like oh when I'm applying it but one thing I'm happy about is once it absorbs into your hair the smell disappears like I've used it two days in a row and I can't smell it in my hair so that's a good thing I just don't like the smell it was really weird when I used this because if you look at it you feel that it's it's literally like a lotion I kid you not it's like a lotion I would also have to say that because it is a something that you can actually see product in your hair this is day two I don't think I would be able to reapply this all week long but this would work perfect if you're a co-washer because what I will probably do is co-wash my hair tomorrow and um, 
you know, to get rid of some of the product and start over if I decide to wear this braid out all week. Again, I bought this at a beauty supply store. I did not buy this at Sally's. I don't know if they sell it at Sally's. It was one of those Asian owned beauty supply stores. God bless you and I will see you at Kiss.